Hi guys, it's Jamie with Not Too Shabby. I have a pile of goodies on my desk. I have a bunch of stuff to share with you. I'm going to share a sneak peek of the July box that's coming out on July 1st. Um, so I'm going to show a little sneaky peeky. So stay tuned. I want to share a card that I made for our Scrap and Stampers monthly challenge. So I have it up on the screen for you. It's a beautiful color palette. There's still time to join the challenge. I'll have the group in the description box for you. It's Scrap and Stampers on Facebook. And all you have to do is make a card or a project um, using that mood board. And this is what I came up with. This is using our new digital stamp. It's a waffle cone, ice cream cone. Um, and I just colored it in those beautiful colors, made a little shaker card, and then the digital stamp does come with some sentiments, so I chose Have a Sweet Summer. So you can print them out like this if you wanted, and fill up your whole sheet of paper, and then just make strips and add them to your cards. Um, you could resize the digital stamp, so here's this a smaller size that I made or you can print it up super huge. So here's four on a sheet. Fill up a nice slimline card or maybe you wanna do six on a sheet. And it does come in the plain cone so you could decorate the bottom as you wish or it comes with that waffle design. So that's available. I will have that linked in the description box if you're interested. I wanna share a little sneak peek so let's do that first because I'm going to share LDRS brand new release I'm going to share some lawn fun um, okay so can I say something really cute is fluttering by or maybe um, buzzing by so we've got here's a couple sheets from one of the paper pads so super super fun and then another couple sheets from the other paper pad. Super pretty. So there's three paper pads um, in this collection. And then look at these cute images. Aren't they darling? So cute. There's going to be coordinating stamps. It's cute ephemera pieces. You get a lot more than just these four, but I just picked out four so you could just see a little sneaky peek. And then check out the slimline paper. I'm gonna show you the slimline paper, guys. I'm not gonna open it up and show you, but look at this. It's a faux embossed watercolored paper in gorgeous colors that coordinate with the other two six, uh, six by six paper pads. Look at how beautiful that is. It looks like really embossed. I'm just super excited about this box. Um, I can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. So let's dig into the LDRS new release and then we'll um, share some lawn fun, um, some of my favorites from the release. So um, Angie had sent me some, um, some cards for samples for the new release. So I thought I'd share them with you guys. They are beautiful. So here's a nice slimline card, isn't that gorgeous? Using the new stamp set, Garden Edge Slimline. Isn't that beautiful? So you get this large, beautiful stamp. Look at those beautiful wildflowers. And then um, some nice big sentiments over here. You are absolutely wonderful. Hello, lovely. Sending you hugs and kiss and many kisses. XOXO. One friend can change your whole life. I love that sentiment. And then love you and a friend like you is one of a kind. Such a great stamp set. And then here's another card sample. Isn't that beautiful? So you've got this beautiful stamp right here. And then she took the same stamp and made a background. Isn't that pretty? Stamped it in gray. Thinking of you is the sentiment. So she used this one, thinking of you today. That sentiment there, so it comes with some sentiments. You are my um, favorite. You are so beautiful. 
thanks for all you do and thinking of you today. So that's really, really pretty. And then there is this coordinating slimline um, stencil. I think you get nine stencils in here, eight stencils. So they layer up together and it creates this, the beautiful flower. So you can use that along with your stamp um, to color it up or you can use it by itself. So really pretty. Okay, next is this really super cute card. Look at that birdhouse. Door opens and look at the little birds. And then also this beautiful um, wildflowers there. So that's one of the stamp sets. Let's see which one that was. Oh, I didn't show that one yet. It's over here. It's this stamp set. And this one's called the Corner Garden. Isn't that pretty? So you got two corner pieces. The uh, sentiments, friends make happiness bloom and you are amazing. So I love how she used it with the birdhouse. And then the little birds also come from another stamp set here. So let's show the birdhouse first. So we've got the really cute birdhouse. And then we got some foliage. We've got some wood grain. We've got some lights to decorate the little birdhouse. There's coordinating dye if you want to pick up the dye. And then here's the other cute little card. Look at this. So she's used the new border, the birdhouse border in the background there. Look at the little doors open. That's so cute. And then she used this other stamp set, Garden Friends, which is this one here. So very, very cute. So here's the Garden Friends. Look how adorable that is. Super, super cute. Can't tell you how much you mean to me. That's a cute sentiment. So that's really cute. Do have a coordinating die for that. Did I show all of these? These are the um, border. That cute. And there's the die for the garden friends. Now there's a new slimline die. Isn't this gorgeous? It's called Folk Art Slimline Die. Love this beautiful pattern. They're stitching around it and little holes in each corner. Just really unique. And then there is a stencil that coordinates with that Folk Art Slimline stencil with the same pattern. So you could use this to color that in. Then we've got Tropical Floral Slimline. So this is another um, nine piece stencil. So it creates that beautiful pattern there. It coordinates with the stamp set. So this is the Tropical Floral Slimline. Really pretty. And the sentiments read, you make the world a better place. Miss you so much. Thank you for everything, and you are special. And then they also did the folk art in a A2 size cover plate. So that's really, really pretty. Love that. And then there's the dot or the stencil that coordinates with that. And that's a three piece stencil. And I did restock this one. This is the sentiment stack. So if you have those sentiment um, stack stamp sets from LDRS, this is the die that cuts that out. Um, I do have some of those in stock if you want to take a look at those. It's a really neat concept. You stamp it all at once and then you die cut it all at once. It's awesome. And then this is a beautiful stencil. Um, bro brocade, it's called. And look how beautiful that is. And then there are two paper pads that go with the collection. Painted Garden, isn't that pretty? Such a beautiful cottage feel. Love it. So that is the LDRS. So I'll make sure I have the link in the description box for you. And then we have the lawn fawn that just came out. So I just grabbed some of my favorites. 
Um, so we've got the birthday friends. So super cute. Look at those cute little, little characters. They're so tiny. So cute. And then we've got the giant birthday messages. Now look at that. That'll fill up your card. So you just have to color that in or leave it black and white and your card is done. Then we've got S'more the Merrier. So here's a cute little campfire set. Isn't that cute? Making s'mores. Love it. So stinking cute. I also have the die available for this. There's a little um, stamp that says push here so you can make a, the fire light up. That would be really cute. Create a cute night scene with all these critters at the campfire. I love coloring scenes like that. Then we've got two can do it. So really, really cute with the tropical animals. And then there's some dyes and all stencils that go with that. Super, super fun. So let's show, let's show some of the dyes. There's the Magic Iris Tropical Leaves add-on die. Goes perfect with that stamp set. The Tropical Leaves stencil. So there's a background one. And then uh, just a regular uh, leaf stencil. And then there's this really cute mountain one that would go great with the, the camping set. And then there's a confetti one that goes great with the birthday set. This one goes great with the camping set. This one is the forest backdrop. Isn't that cute? So you get a little frame, kind of looks like a big moon. And then the trees, little mushrooms. There's a little moon there. Um, there's a tropical leaves backdrop, which is really cute to go with those um, those those critters, tropical leaves backdrop die. There's a little butterfly in there. Really cute, so the pieces on the inside come out. And then the simple stripes is really cool. Um, I'm really into doing that with my cards, um, using different patterns of papers and putting them together. This would make it just so easy. And then it'd have a nice little um, stitching around it to kind of tie it all together like it's one piece. This is also cute to make some shiplap. So I really like that. And these big, giant, happy birthdays. So there's a happy birthday and a happy birthday to you. I have both of them in the shop. I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed the wrong one, but there's one that says happy birthday to you. This is perfect for a focal point on your card. And then how fun to pair it up with those cute little... Um, these cute little friends, these birthday friends, look at the perfect size to kind of like just have them standing around this on your card. How cute is that? So that is what I have to share with you guys today. So stay tuned to the channel. You'll be seeing some sneak peeks coming up and come back on July 1st for the YouTube hop and giveaway. So I'll see you then. Take care guys.